Hi everyone, today I'm going to be covering Markdown. You've likely seen it all over the internet without even realizing. In this video, I'm going to cover why we use Markdown and how it works. So what is Markdown? Markdown is a simple writing tool that lets you write plain text with easy to learn syntax and then converts it into basic but formatted HTML. This means you can edit and read your text easily and then convert it for a more visually appealing presentation afterwards. Let's have a look at some sample Markdown to show you the basics. As you can see, I have a simple file here. However, you'll notice that there appears to be quite a bit of punctuation. This is the syntax for Markdown. If we look at what this Markdown is actually being converted to on the back end, we can see that it generates a HTML document. HTML is basically used for everything online and has a wide range of support for many different tags. It is very customizable, but can be very time consuming to write with increased complexity due to nesting, making it overkill for small documents. HTML also has some key points of failure where the wrong syntax or forgetting to close the tag can drastically change how the document looks. This can be quite tedious when debugging a large file. With that, now let's look at how our file actually renders with our markdown. As you can see, our document has rendered and is quite easy to read with quite a few different styles of text as well as clear separation. While Markdown is a great tool, it is however limited to specific HTML tags. Not all of them are included. Let's go through the most common so you can get to using Markdown ASAP. Starting with headings, Markdown supports all sizes as a standard HTML heading tag. In the examples below, you can see that we're using a single hashtag to denote a heading with subsequent hashtags for what level of heading we want. Like HTML, this only goes from one to six. If we attempt to put a seventh level, we can see that the output of the Markdown shows our hashtags and the text we wanted to be a header. This allows for easy and quick debugging. If we were to make this mistake with standard HTML, our text would just render as a normal paragraph. Moving on to the different emphases that we can use, we can see straight away that we actually have a choice of punctuation. We can use either an underscore or an asterisk, both act exactly the same. We use a number of these characters to denote whether we want our text to be italic or bold. We can also use the tilde key to strike out text. Let me know which you prefer over the asterisk or the underscore in the comments. You may notice that we don't have any option to underline. This is not supported in native Markdown. Finally, let's move on to lists. Markdown supports both ordered and unordered lists. Unordered lists can be achieved by using a hyphen, asterisk, or a plus symbol. You can also use two spaces or a tab to indent these underneath each other for sublists. Ordered lists are different and will be sequentially numbered after each other. To create an unordered list, you'll want to start with a number one, followed by a period and a space. After that, you can use any number you want and it will automatically begin numbering them one, two, three, and so forth. As you can see below, as long as you start with the number one, it doesn't matter what numbers you use afterwards. Even with my list not in sequential order, it has ordered them for me. There's actually a lot more syntax than what I've covered here. I've only covered the basics. You can check out my full explanation video on Markdown syntax for the full list, as well as additional videos where I cover Markdown extensions. How does it actually work? Markdown is very simple to create, not requiring any special software. You can use the built-in text editor for your chosen operating system if you wish. All you need to do is ensure that the file is saved with the correct extension, either the commonly used .md or the less commonly used .markdown file format. Both of these are exactly the same. So you've created your Markdown file and now you want to view it. That becomes a little more tricky. While you can create the file without any special software, you will need an interpreter to be able to view the files in the rendered state. There are many pieces of software to do this, but it will need to be able to pass the Markdown and do the conversion to HTML for you. There are many paid and free tools that can do this. You can use Visual Studio Code as an example with a Markdown extension. There are also many online websites that can do this for you. So where is Markdown actually used? Markdown is actually used everywhere all over the internet in places that you may not even realize. Many large websites use Markdown to allow quick edits and changes in a stylized way. A great example of this would be Wikipedia, which allows its editors to use Markdown to make and edit pages as well as format it as required. Many online communication platforms also allow the use of Markdown. Markdown is also very common in development platforms with many developers using Markdown to write their documentation. So let's take a look at how you can use Markdown to make your text easier to read and follow with little effort. While Markdown is used heavily by the development community for documentation and project pages, it can also be used for general documentation as well as note taking, as long as you have the software required to render it. As mentioned previously, many online chat platforms allow you to use Markdown within them. Using Discord as an example, you can write Markdown and send it to a user who will be able to see it rendered through the Discord client or web app. Finally, email is another big use case for Markdown allowing you to quickly send formatted text and images without the need of external applications to do the formatting for you. Even when email clients have built-in editors, it can be much quicker and easier to do this through Markdown without navigating the built-in GUI. 
Hopefully this video has given you a better understanding of what Markdown is and how it works. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like, and if you want more informative videos in the future, please subscribe. Looking for a specific topic? Let me know down below in the comments. As always, thanks for watching.